stop moving. Uh, let me drift around you. Yeah, this is epic. Okay. I'm gonna crush you. What? Okay, so I've changed something in this uh, project. So the first thing is the uh, materials. Uh, I added a right click, added a constant and connect to the metallic and crank it up a little bit to make it more, uh, you know, metal look to the car. Now I've also changed the, um, in the blueprint police car, in the vehicle movement, I change back to uh, four wheel drive and I also in the um, spring arm, select your spring arm. I think originally uh, from last video, I think it was around here. So if your uh, car uh, flipped, it just looks it, it 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 just looks weird. So just put it back in the, in the center of the car, and that'll be fine. The next thing uh, the next thing I've changed is in the um is in the uh, police car wheel. I turned this value to 25 and turned this value to to 2500, and then the last thing I've changed is in the um. A police car tire config I've turned the uh, friction scale to 1.1 so that a uh, I think it's it, it drives better than last time in the video uh, when you turn it flip this is how I feel in the uh, all the value change oh one more thing I've changed that is still in this blueprint and uh, I think it's in the uh, vehicle setup in I've changed inertia tensor scale the Y I, I changed to 3 and Z I've also changed it to 3 uh, I've, uh, I've explained this already in the, in the last video so Next, let's uh, organize a little bit of a scene, and we we duplicate another police car so that we can have two players. Okay, add a new folder. We call it cars. Add a player one, and add a player two. And we can. We can select all the um, things that we want to duplicate and and then twice one for the player one the other one for the player two uh, I'm not gonna worry about the material since uh, the only one I want to change is the space I don't want it to change other things such as light or stuff like that I've also removed the weird uh, green look on the hood as you can see here and next thing uh, select this blueprint police car and select um, let's see what else I want to select I think I think I only want to select these two since these two are different right move here then let's just duplicate duplicate it here. Uh, what happened here? Ah, great. Okay. So I'm gonna re rename this one. Oh, I got another one here. Delete this. We are going to change this one into. Let's see. Uh, it's we're going to add a black one, black, black, black police car, black police, police car, mat, and double tap on it, change this to uh, all the way down, 
save it. Okay. Now this is done. Maybe it's just too dark. I think this is fine. This is fine. Okay. And then we are going to rename this one to BP Black Police Car. Okay. Select this one and this one. We're going to put it in player one. Select this one and this one. We go to player two. Now let's go to uh, blueprints. Uh, excuse me, and we choose open level blueprint. We are going to add a uh, add to default map. If the name is not the same, it's okay. And we are gonna add a create player. And I think we're done. I think we're done. Let's go back and test it. Uh, our player one is fine, but our player two is not here. So one more thing we need to change. One more thing we need to change. Let's go to BP Black Police Car and select this one. We're going to change auto process player to player one. Compile and save. Of course, I think um, the other thing that I forgot is that I have to drag this police car in here too. Great. All right, two police car here. Good. I think we have two police car here. Let's take a look at it. Now the second one, the control is not working. Let's fix that. Now before we talk about uh, setup input control for second player, uh, you must have a uh, kind of controller for the second player. Somehow if you use keyboard for two player control, uh, it's gonna it's gonna spend a lot of time on it. We're gonna uh, make things easier to just uh, uh, plug in a controller. Uh, however, my controller kind of like this one, kind of like this one. It's a generic uh, USB controller. Uh, you're gonna need to do a little bit of extra work. But if your controller is Xbox or PS4 controller. And then it's fine, you just uh, skip this part. But if your controller looks like uh, this, we can go to, um, we go to, we go to plugins. Oh, hold on a second, I go to plugins. Okay, we go to plugins and we scroll down to input. And make sure this Windows raw input enabled and then restart it you can just continue and uh, for somehow if you if you don't know which button to assign to the key you just hit play and uh, open the console type in show debug input and then you click on the uh, controller. Oh, you click on the controller. See, it'll show generic USB controller right here. And you can use pitch up, pitch down to uh, switch between different players. All right. Now I've already added in the uh, input. It looks like this, a second forward two, kind of like uh, for player two, and a second left right control. I don't think I want to look around for second player to make things easy. 
and the let's um let's try it let's try it I think it works I think it works now let's uh, try this this one great great okay okay now somehow uh, I want to change the um, split mode let's go to project setting maps and modes local multiplayer and we are gonna s change to vertical hit play F uh, let's hit F11 to full screen we're gonna see how it goes great player one also works great Oh, crashed. Okay, now that's it for today's um, tutorial. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.